It was a birth announcement that shocked the world. Two beautiful little Chinese girls named Lulu and Lala came crying into the world as healthy as any other babies a few weeks ago. Chinese biophysicist He Zhangqi, working largely in secret, had used CRISPR to knock out a gene called CCR5 in two early human embryos, then returned the embryos to their mother's womb. CCR5 plays a key role in HIV infection, and the girl's father was HIV positive. He said his motive was noble. As a father of two girls, I can't think of a gift more beautiful and wholesome for the society than giving another couple a chance to start a loving family. But the scientific community did not cheer. At the International Summit on Human Genome Editing that He attended shortly after the announcement, the reaction was shock and condemnation. I understand my work will be controversial, but I believe family need this technology and I'm willing to take the criticism for them. The Chinese court has sentenced He Jiankui, the biophysicist who announced that he had created the world's first gene-edited babies, to three years in prison for illegal medical practice and handed down shorter sentences to two colleagues who assisted him. The punishments put to rest speculation over whether the Chinese government would bring criminal charges for an act that shocked the world and are likely to deter others from similar behavior, say Chinese scientists. There has been much speculation about whether other scientists would follow in his footsteps, especially given the ease of using the most popular gene editing tool, CRISPR-Cas9. But the punishments are definitely a deterrent to similar misconduct in China, says Wei Wenching, a gene editing researcher at Peking University in Beijing. The health ministry has also banned the researchers from ever working with human reproductive technology again, and the science ministry has banned them from applying for research funding, according to Xinhua. Scientists in China who are currently researching CRISPR for its potential to treat various genetic diseases by modifying cells other than embryos say that they fear his actions might have a chilling effect on their work too, even though it is not as ethically fraught. The technique has been earlier used on mice, monkeys, and 300 human embryos by he. The primary risk associated with CRISPR is that it can introduce accidental or off-target mutations but he claimed that he found few to no unwanted changes in the embryo. The attempt to create children protected from HIV falls into an ethical gray zone between treatment and enhancement. This procedure does not appear to cure any disease or disorder in the embryo, but instead just claims to create a health advantage. The birth of the first genetically modified humans could have been an incredible achievement for he, but where some see a new form of medicine, others see a slick slope to enhancements, designer babies, and a new form of eugenics. I hope you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications for more videos.